reporting just into us, a source revealing, get this, another discovery of classified documents. Roughly a dozen government documents were uncovered at the home of former Vice President Mike Pence. That home is in Indiana. The search took place last week. The documents were found by one of the former Vice President's lawyers. The FBI was immediately notified. This find, of course, flies in the face of repeated Pence denials that he held on to any classified materials when he left the government. The backdrop, too, well, you all know this, two separate special counsels already investigating the current and the former president, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, for potential breaches as well and how they handled government secrets. Our CNN special correspondent Jamie Gangel is breaking this news story. CNN justice correspondent Evan Paris also with us. Jamie, walk us through what we know. So, more documents. This is now number three, former Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, out of an abundance of caution, we are told he had a lawyer go through his house and double-check boxes. They found four boxes in his home in Indiana. They say they had been sealed since the time he left as vice president. They go through the boxes, and they found roughly 12 documents that have appeared to have classified markings on them. They immediately called, this was last week, they immediately called the National Archives to hand them over. It's our understanding the archives, because of everything that's going on with Biden and Trump, alerted the Justice Department. And the night of January 19th, the FBI came to the Pence home in Indiana, and they handed over those uh, 12 documents. For clarity, these boxes have not been stored in a secure place. They've been in his home, but I'm told they were sealed. However, when the lawyer found these 12 documents, they took the 12 documents and kept them in the safe until the FBI came. Uh, and so this is not to pick on the former vice president, because I think we now have seen that this can happen. But in November, right. as the Trump story was breaking, we did not know at this point about the Biden story. Uh, in the Trump story, back in November, the vice, former vice president sat down with ABC News, and it was quite direct. Did you take any classified documents with you from the White House? Uh, I, I did not. Um, do you see any reason for anyone to take classified documents with them leaving the White House? Well, there'd be no reason to have classified documents, particularly if they were in an unprotected area. Uh, well, there were classified documents, and they were in, as you report, an unprotected area. Right. Uh, do they have any explanation for that? And again, I, I don't say that to pick on the former vice president, who is known as a cautious, meticulous person. But yet again, this has happened. Look, we went through this with Biden. He said he was surprised. I think it's clear former vice president uh, Pence was surprised as well. These do seem to be inadvertent. That said, how did it happen? Our reporting is that in the final days of packing up uh, both the West Wing, the White House office, and the residence office, that these classified documents were likely at the vice president's residence, and they did not go through the same rigorous uh, checking that was happening over the White House, and so they got packed up with personal things that were coming from the residence. And again, to, to that point, what you just said, Listen, again, this is the former vice president of the United States. This is talking to Fox Business this month in January, on January 12th, saying, I was extra careful. Listen. I received a presidential daily brief at the vice president's uh, residence. I'd rise early. Uh, I'd go to the safe where my military aid would uh, place those classified uh, materials. Uh, I'd pull them out, uh, review them. I'd receive a presentation to them, and then... Um, Frankly, more often than not, uh, Larry, uh, would simply return them back uh, to the file that I'd received them in. They went in uh, commonly into what was called a burn bag that my military aide would gather and then destroy those classified uh, materials. Same goes uh, in materials that I would receive at the White House. So, again, in both interviews, he's speaking with quite with certainty, uh, not me didn't happen, not an unprotected place. We had a process, and yet. Right. So there's, there's no question. Things, the system is not working. And big picture, what uh, I'm told by sources who deal with the archives and presidential material have said is, this is yet another example. The system is not working. 
They need to go back, review records management, review classified material management. We're also told, so why did, after saying no, we don't right. have anything repeatedly, they clearly went back and former Vice President Pence wanted to triple check right. because of the Biden document. To his credit, most likely. Absolutely. Most likely Absolutely. to his credit. Again, so Evan, there was a Trump investigation already underway. The attorney general, when the Biden disclosure happened, uh, pretty much had no choice. He wouldn't say it this way, but then did a special counsel uh, for, the, for the Biden investigation. So you have the current president and the former president under investigation. In a moment, we'll get into the significant differences in the investigation uh, in the circumstances, including now, I think, Pence as well. What now at the Justice Department? Well, now they are doing a review. This is something now that the FBI and, and the National Security Division of the Justice Department are doing a review because one of the first things they have to do is, is, is examine the documents, see whether the information is still considered classified, who owns it, which agency it, it belongs to, and to determine how they came to be where they're, where they're not supposed to be, in an in a insecure or unsecure location, which is the uh, former vice president's home. Um, it is clear, however, uh, that, uh, you know, I think some of, the, some of the answers are already out there. We know that the transition, let's just say, at the end of the Trump administration was not the usual kind, right? Um, Donald Trump was, prete was, was pretending like he was never going to leave. And so um, that may be part of the reason here. And, and as Jamie points out, you know, I think it's pretty clear also that this was not a purposeful thing, you know, in comparison to the Trump case who, you know, said these documents are mine and I'm not returning them. The vice president and his team clearly, uh, according to letters that we've obtained, uh, that they've uh, written to the National Archives and to the White House, you know, describe a very, very cooperative and a very deliberative process. You know, they uh, advise the National Archives on, on, and the following day on Thursday, the FBI comes to the home uh, at 9.30 p.m. and picks up these documents from the home in Carmel, Indiana. So there's a process that is being worked out now at the Justice Department to determine, you know, how much of a problem do we have here and the next steps. We're told that at this point, you know, again, this is being handled by the Justice Department, by the people who do this kind of work, which is, you know, let's just say it, it happens from time to time. But it happens from time to time. Hang on just one sec. I just want to bring Carrie. I just want to bring Carrie Cordero, our legal analyst, into the conversation. Uh, again, uh, we have learned new things all the time in all of these investigations. So I want to reserve the, just for our viewers, this is a breaking news story. This is where we are today. But in both the Pence and the Biden discoveries, they were discovered and lawyers for the current president and the former vice president immediately called the Justice Department and said, we found these documents, uh, you know, tell us what to do. Uh, Trump took the documents in over a months long period of time, at one point certified he had returned them all. They found out they didn't. That's why they searched the search warrant. We'll get into the politics of that later. From a legal perspective, what does Merrick Garland and his team have to go through right now when it comes to Mike Pence? Well, so the investigation of, of prosecuting classified documents really does turn on the intent behind it, the willfulness, all the various statutes that apply to actually prosecuting, mishandling of classified information, turn on some kind of intent, some kind of willful behavior on the part of it. And that, so far as we know, seems to be what distinguishes certainly this situation uh, with former Vice President Pence. Uh, we're still learning more about uh, President Biden's situation, but it sounds that way in part because of their disclosures. Now, what I think a really interesting decision point for Attorney General Garland is, is, is he going to need a special counsel in this case? And that gets into the politics of it. Because remember, the trigger for him appointing the special counsel in former President Trump's case was former President Trump's announcement that he's a candidate again. President oh. Biden is a presumptive candidate for president. Where is Mike Pence in the political situation oh. moving forward? And how will that impact uh, whether or not Attorney General Garland needs to cabin off this investigation just like the others. Right. You had a point you were trying to make. Uh, two things uh, that we didn't make clear. The FBI did not go into the Pence home and search the home, which is different from Biden. Right. They just came and picked up the papers. So as Evan right. said, there's a review going on, but it's not the kind of criminal investigation where they want to see where were the boxes kept. What were the surrounding things? So they haven't taken that next step yet. And one other point. Forgive me for interrupting. Yep. Hold the point. Hold the other point. 
That's what happened in the Biden. Right. Correct. They, they turned Correct. them over. They, they, they turned over what they found the first time. Then there were conversations about what to do next. I believe, if, correct me if I'm wrong, they turned over additional documents, and then they still decided in the end they needed to go and do right. a thorough And that's thorough partly search. because of, right. frankly, let's just be honest, the, the Biden case was screwed up, right? right. These, uh, uh, the, the, the way the Biden team decided to disclose these things publicly and to withhold certain information certainly, I think, gave the Justice Department a little bit of concern right. about exactly what was happening. And, and they needed to figure out, you know, they need to make sure that nothing else was there, and that's why they took that additional step of doing a search, um, uh, you know, which we've now, which we, we now have right. seen disclosed. Right. So the other question this raises is, what about President Obama, former President Obama? Right. What about former President Bush, you know, uh, and, and the former vice presidents? Is there going to be, right. and, and they don't say this to be funny, right. some kind of amnesty <laughs> where they go back, how many special counsels are we going right. to have? Or, or, or can you have some sort of a nonpartisan or bipartisan look at